Hi everybody, welcome to yet another video. So today we're having a little look at the uh, Astro 1.3 HE. Now they make this gun in quite a few different sizes, um, up to about 1.8. I think they might even make a 2 two millimeter. but this is uh, a 1.3, so it's ideal for base coat and clear coat. Uh, these guns are, are sold normally in, in the US. I got mine via Amazon in the UK, but it was shipped from the US. Um, they're a Taiwanese manufacturer. They're actually the Star brand. They're known in most places as, as Star. That's the, that's the name of the brand. But they have this Astro Pneumatic um, division, which is in, based in the US which basically uh, markets these guns as well as other things but they market these guns um, there's three different types of these there's the blue one which is this one which is the HE uh, there's a green one which is a HVLP and there's an Evo T which is a gold one so I'll just refer to them as gold blue and green uh, there's a gold one which is a sort of like a cross between the two but I, I think what what happened was I got the I got this one first and I put up a review of the gold one the Evo uh, and then I realized that I hadn't actually done a, a, a review of this I'd, I'd had it for longer obviously than the Evo um, but hadn't put you know hadn't done any footage taken any footage with it uh, or obviously nothing to voice up if you haven't taken any footage so I've, I've done this one in January this year uh, and you'll see quite a bit of this tank because there's quite a lot to do decal wise, wise and that so this is literally just a basin clear coat and it's going to be sanded afterwards but we still try for the best finish so it still gives um, you know a good impression of the gun or, or what the gun is capable of um, but looking at the three different guns, the green one is a, it's called a HVLP gun. And according to the specs given out on the Astro website, the HPL, uh, HVLP gun is supposed to use between 9 and 10 CFM, and that's at 29 PSI, so 2 bar. And I find that difficult to believe. I haven't actually got one, so I can't say whether that's true or not but i find that very hard to believe because normally hvlp consumes quite a lot of air um, the evo t which is the gold one according to their website consumes 11 and a half to 13 cfm at 19 psi uh, now, if you crank that up to 29 PSI, you'd be talking probably 17, 18 CFM. And I've got one of those, and it doesn't. It uses more air than this, than the blue one, but it doesn't use 18, 19 CFM. I think they've got their um, specs, and, and this, this wouldn't be without president, president, because a lot of people... Um, pick up on things that are on websites of companies me included uh that are actually wrong Who, whoever's put you know whoever's wrote them down have put them on the wrong wrong tag so to speak so it wouldn't surprise me if that, the actual figures for those two the green one and the gold one are the wrong way round. I reckon that the green one, I haven't got one, so I'm only presuming here, I reckon the green one uses around about um, 11 to 13 CFM at 19 PSI. Now, guys in the States who are listening to this can put me right and put a, a comment in the uh, comments. Obviously, I leave all the comments on people can see it but tell me if i've got that right because it doesn't seem quite right at all because a hvlp gun shouldn't use less than a uh, a he gun which is this one here so back to this gun the he is equivalent to like the sata rp uh, certain manufacturers use what they call mp which is the same thing again uh, de vilbis use the uh, transtech the te caps 
HTE, which is what, um, well, they call it Halo, Halo now, but HTE, what uh, Walcom use, same thing, the Halo thing is the same thing. Um, it, it's all a way of, of telling you it's a standard pressure spray gun, uh, or more to the point, a standard consumption spray gun. Uh, most of these will run at a similar pressure, anywhere between 20 and 30 PSI. Uh, normally HVLP guns, as I was explaining earlier with the green one, will run at a lower pressure than the, um, these sort of guns, the HE version. But the gold one that I've got, on that, that uses quite a bit of air because, again, in the, as I say, in the... Um, Astro website, it says that should be used about 19 PSI. Now, if you try and use that at 19 PSI, you get really rubbish results. You really, really do. You might get away with a bit of base coat, but you, 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 it won't go on very well at all. Uh, and for clear coat, you're on a real loser. Unless you want plenty of sanding afterwards to do, you'll be on a real loser. You need to use that nearer to 25 psi something like that and then it does use quite a bit of air you can see in the in the cap the air holes are quite big so on this particular one the he for this we're using it for um two different base coats we've got a white base coat as a ground coat because the yellow which you've already seen the, the uh white which you've already seen uh it, it, the yellow, most yellows will always go over a white, uh, simply because you know any any darker darker uh, primer or base color uh, tends to take some of the um, punch of the yellow away. So we've done a white base, so it's just purely base coat we've used, uh, and then we're going over it now with a, a Yamaha yellow. It's a, a, a quite a deep pearl yellow uh not particularly difficult to spray but the he handles it very very well and that comes round to the more universal uh appeal of this gun uh, as i say i haven't got the green one i would imagine it would be quite good for base coat maybe a little bit more effort required for clear coat i have got the gold one that is actually probably better than this for base coat uh, at the expense of using a little bit more air. So if you're if you're tight for compressor air, then probably neither of these are going to be that good because this this is said to use about 11 cfm uh, operating pressure, which is about 29 psi, which is um, what I use for clear coat. I actually use this at 1.8 bar, which is about 25 psi. For both the base coats, for the white and for what we're spraying here now, the uh, the yellow intercoat, if you want to call it that, um, and it, it it works very very well at that. I've always thought and find you don't need base coat on super super smooth because the clear coat will do the job of of covering that up. And I always think it's probably a little bit better that it's not quite super smooth, because in my head, I'm thinking to myself, that probably gives the clear coat something better to adhere to. Uh, and, and ultimately, as long as it looks okay, and the, the, the final finish is, is flat, if that's what you want, uh, it doesn't matter what the base coat is like, as, as long as it, it doesn't, you know, interfere with the overall finish. And I tend to find that. So I'm not too worried about putting base coat on super smooth. If for some reason you do, just turn the pressure up a little bit. But I found 25 PSI absolutely fine. It'll save you a bit of air. I'm guessing it would probably use about 9.5 to 10 bar. That's uh, 9.5 to 10 bar. 9.5 to 10 CFM at uh, 25 uh, PSI. So you're saving yourself a little bit of air. And I, I mention in air quite a bit because a lot of people, it's becoming regulators and compressor size are becoming the two most common things asked about. Now, I've done a, uh, a review on regulators. I'll try and remember to put a link in the description. But compressors is another thing 
people that are working with limited air obviously are limited to what guns they can actually use and that, that's one of the things that probably lets this down a little bit compared to some of the the cheaper chinese guns you know that like the r500 as a prime example uh this definitely uses more air than that uh, uh, probably about a third more uh so so if you've got the air i would definitely recommend this it is more expensive but it is better made you know the, the fit and finish is just it's just better with the cheap guns like the r500 again you've got no sealing points on the tip uh and they they seal well and the same goes for this there's no um uh, there's no baffles in this there's no like um washer underneath like you get the a and i's and the sartas and things like that uh i mean they're the, probably the worst is the deville bis because of the baffle system etc it's reasonably reliable but it's quite it, there seems to be quite a lot going on when somebody can manufacture a gun like this and there's there's not so much going on uh but it still works fine um i mean as I say, I think the gold one is actually better for base coat than this, but it's, it's marginal. But this is definitely a better clear coat gun. Uh, it tends to put out a bit more material, which is more ideal for clear coat. Depends on the clear coat you're using and the conditions you're in. Uh, the conditions here, you see me using the lamp. I've actually got three lamps, although I, I normally only ever need to use one or two. But it was... What was it? I have to look on my piece of paper. Seven degrees Celsius. I know it was cold because it was the 4th of January. Uh, so it was chilly and it was quite damp outside. So it's getting near to where I call the limit on trying to paint. I used to do it at like 0 degrees and it was just so much hard work because you, you're always struggling, with the, particularly with the clear coat stage, you're always struggling with the amount of clear you can actually put on because if you put too much clear coat on, you're going to get runs. If you don't put enough, it's going to go on dry. So you're, you know, always, and, and to a certain extent, is that, that is what you're doing all the time. You're always trying to get a balance between the amount you put on so that the, the clear can run out. You know, the little, little, um, little micro blobs of clear that are going on that's being drawn through the gun are all hitting the panel whatever it is and then they will slowly flow into each other and the idea is that you want enough on there so that it flows out nicely so that it gives you a nice flat finish but not enough so that it's actually there's too much and it starts to sag or it starts to run uh, and as the conditions get colder and colder it gets harder and harder to do that so i now draw the line at five to six degrees Celsius, which is about 41 to 42 Fahrenheit. Under that now, I, 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 I just don't bother, you know. So there might be a week where I can't uh, get out and paint. And, you know, if you've got stuff to do uh, for other people, then they just, have to, they just have to wait, really. It just becomes too difficult to do. Uh, and you're always compromising on performance as well. So I'm using a fast hardener with this, or sorry, an extra fast hardener with this, which is supposed to go down to, uh, I think, five, between 5 and 15 uh, degrees Celsius is what the manufacturer recommends. So we're well within tolerance of that. Uh, it's only a, a bike tank, so we don't have to worry too much about, you know, reaching any limits of i.e. It going off in the pot or anything like that. If you're doing a bigger, bigger area, you would, and you would also find it more and more difficult with a bigger area unless you had some kind of heating uh, to, you know, heat the individual parts. You would need quite a few lamps or something to do that. So maybe if you've got something like that to do maybe you do it in sections rather than you know try and do it all in one go but certainly th this would be my pick as the gun as the all-round astro gun um i think given the choice i wouldn't buy the evo t again uh i think what they were trying to do with the evo t t and, and a couple of people have said this um on i think the original review i did of it and, and they, I think they've hit the nail on the head. They were trying to a, a, to a certain extent, uh, particularly because it's the American market, they were trying to appeal uh, to the people that like the LPH, uh, LPH 80, 
the LPH 400, uh, because that tends to work on a similar principle in that you, um, there's quite a lot of air going through uh, and you tend to want to use it at a slightly lower pressure to get an equally good finish. <coughs> Sorry. And it just really didn't work. I don't think it worked. I think, as I say, they've got their numbers mixed up on the website. So I think that was designed for a lower pressure. But, you know, if, if you're looking at their website, it's designed for 29 PSI. But I don't think it was. Uh, but, you know, who, who knows? Only they know. If they see the video, maybe they could uh, stick a little comment on the bottom. Uh, so you can see one of the things you get with this is a really big fan, which a lot of people like. I don't mind a big fan as long as it's quite wet. Uh, and with this, it is quite a wet fan. So it's a reasonably fast gun, which if you've got too big a fan, uh, but it's not a wet fan, it can really slow the gun up. Uh, you know, you have to watch your overlapping, etc., which you do anyway, but, and it depends on the clear coat, but I find a big fan's fine if it's quite a wet fan. So, you know, the faster guns I like, whereas the slower guns tend to be a bit more, uh, less rewarding to use, I guess, because you, you just can't, it doesn't seem to flow. Uh, it seems to hold you back rather than let you uh, get on with the work. But you won't find that with this. It, it, it lays a really, really nice coat of clear, perfectly good for base coat, perfectly acceptable for base coat good overall build quality uh as i say it's not it's nothing spectacular but it's good good overall build quality it should last for years and years and years i don't know about spare parts uh, i'm guessing if you live in the us you could probably get access to spare parts by contacting the company if you in the uk like me then it's probably a bit of a no-no because they're just not uh really available over here there's a a, a couple of companies actually that stock a few of the astro guns but they don't seem to seem to stop these i don't know if some kind of licensing thing between um you know the, the astro pneumatic and star and all that but yeah we don't seem to get these over here but you can as i say you can get them from uh, amazon which is um as i said where i got this one from so we're spraying the clear coat now and you can see that it's not it's not the fastest of guns but it's still quite a reasonable speed of gun gives you a very very good finish uh considering the conditions it performed really really well um I, i've set the 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 two uh pressures i mentioned 1.8 bar or so say 25 psi for base coat and 29 for clear coat i found works with virtually all base coats and virtually all clear coats if you're using a better quality clear coat this is a u-pole clear coat um 2080 so it's quite um it doesn't flow out particularly well so it suits the gun that delivers more so it actually suits this um okay you would get a uh, a better finish with a better quality clear coat but as you can see considering we've put um two different base coats and with the clear coat on top then it, it's not a bad finish we've got a couple of outside shots in a minute which were actually done a couple of days later mainly because it wasn't so wet and horrible um uh, but you, it's difficult to get a, an idea of the um the flatness of the finish on a yellow but you just have to take my word for it it actually performs very very well and gives a really good finish um this is going to be sanded down but in the real world if if this was the final job all you need to do is uh just denib it and um give it a polish but yeah, thoroughly recommended gun, um, good value for money. I think I'd probably still have the ANI F160 given the chance, but this would probably last longer. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for watching and um, thanks for the uh, thumbs up. And if you are new to the channel, then maybe think about giving us a uh, subscription. It does help push us up the uh, YouTube rankings and the more people see the videos, the better. Cheers, guys. Thanks as always. Bye-bye.